Now I'm ready to weave the weavers. First thing I need to do is determine the height I want the weavers to come to. I think this binder is a little bit low for my liking. It's going to get in the way. And that's no problem. So all I have to do is simply knock the binder up a few inches out of the way. When I've woven all the weavers, I can then readjust the binder to its final resting position. So now that I've done that, remember to cut off the bottom few inches as with the uprights in case the bottom has dried out slightly. So I'm going to take the butt of the weaver, hold it up against the first upright. I'm going to weave in front and working down at an angle. I go behind the second one, again coming down at an angle. I go in front of the third one and the next available vertical hole, remembering that the willow goes in vertically. Then I need to decide what angle I want this weaver to stay at. I can have this weaver straight, I can have it curved in. In this case, I'm going to have it curved out slightly. So that's a nice, gentle curve. And I'm going to tie that in position with a temporary tie. Just there. It's important to get this first weaver in exactly the position and angle that you want because all the other weavers will be woven in exactly parallel to this one. 